Okay guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you um, what happens when you start moving your files, your music files around. I had a question um, from one of the readers um, saying that they've moved their files and now Tractor can't find it and uh, it's not working so well. So let me give you a demo on what actually happens. So in Tractor, when I open it up, um, you can see that it does a consistency check. Now you can set this to come on um, when you open up Tractor automatically. So I let this do its thing and it tells me, it runs a report and tells me how the file system is and where, you know, if the music's all there and whatnot. So we'll let this load. Okay, so now that's loaded up. It gives us a little report here showing the overview, um, total tracks that we have, tracks missing, tracks not analyzed, missing stripe and total tracks to analyze. Um, so we're just going to deal with missing tracks today and you can see I've got 22 missing tracks and we can actually go ahead and click on the missing tracks and see what they all are. Now these are, might be tracks that I've moved, deleted, um, I don't care about anymore. As you can see most of them are, are recordings, audio recordings that I've recorded a DJ set and then moved it somewhere else. Um, so you know some of these I don't care about, some of them I can I, I might want to relocate. But as you can see, um, if we go back to the overview, I've got 22 tracks missing. So let's go ahead into the uh, into the program and we're going to look for a track that I know is there um, from uh, Unknown Acts called Slow Motions. Now I know that's there. I drag it in to the deck and it loads up and we have a track in there. Okay. Now if I right click on this, um, it can, we can see where it is in the, um, in the finder. Uh, obviously using a Mac here. So in the finder, it'll open this up and it shows me where this is. So it's taken me to my music folder. Um, so music, tractor, genres, music folder here, and there it is, unknown acts. So if at some point I decide I ch to change the name of this track, or um, to move it, let's say. Let's move it from this folder into, um, what do we have here? So I've got, let's move it into, so from the December folder into the November folder. So if I go ahead and move this now by just dragging it and moving it into this folder to join all these tracks here. We've now moved it from the 2012, it's no longer in that one, um, to the, um, 11 November okay so you can close that down and uh, then we'll go ahead and close down um, Traxa and what Traxa then does is it saves everything um, all the settings inside a tractor um, so we'll let it do it do its thing while we close it down here so it writes all file tags and everything so now if I go to reopen Traxa I'm just going to run that consistency uh, report once again. Only this time, it's because we've moved a track, um, it's likely not going to be able to find it. So let's see what happens when uh, the consistency report uh, runs. So wait for this to load again. Okay, so you can see now that track's missing, it says 23. So because we moved that previous track, it can't find it. It's in the track collection somewhere, but it can't find the file. So we go ahead and look at missing tracks. And let's just scroll through and see if that unknown act is there. So there it is. Um, so what we can do right now is we can relocate. So when you relocate from this screen, it relocates, it tries to relocate everything. Um, so let's go ahead and test that out and see how that works. So we click relocate. Now we have to manually find where it is. So I know that my stuff is in my home folder, music, tractor, genres. Now I know that I moved that file to um, to the November um, music folder. So let's scroll on down to music. And we have it, it's in 2012, so 2012, November. So I know it's in that folder. So I just click that folder and, and hit choose. 
Then it'll scan that folder for any files that are in the missing uh, section here. And it will find whatever it finds. So let's we can see that it's that unknown act track has gone. So let's go back to show overview and it's down to 22 again. So we know we've located that file. Um, so let's say we want to try and find some of the others. Um, we can actually go into, instead of going into the subfolders, we can actually go into, um, so music, tractor, genres, we can literally just search the whole genre, um, the whole music collection there, and it'll scan those again, trying to relocate any of the files that are within that. So obviously it will take a longer time because it's going to have to search all the subfolders too. So we'll just wait for that to load up. All right, so as you can see now, it's uh, only missing 14 tracks. So it's definitely located a whole bunch there. Um, and this process doesn't analyze any, it just literally locates. So you can see that there's still 24 tracks um, that aren't analyzed there. Um, and if we go and look at the, the list, it's obviously a lot shorter now. So that's a way we can relocate tracks. Let's click OK. Um, and then we'll go and find this unknown. And here it is, it's relocated it. And if you go and move the track in iTunes, then you're going to come up to some issues, um, just as we saw previously with any track that's just in the track collection there. If we right click this and then show in collection, it has it here. And if we go ahead and right click that and show in finder, it's then going to show us where the actual file is. So it's going to take me to my iTunes um, library, as you can see, into the iTunes music right here. All right. And so if we start moving tracks around inside the file structure of iTunes, then we're going to get some issues. Um, you're okay to move them around inside iTunes itself, just within playlists and things, but if you start messing around in the file structure of, uh, of the iTunes library, then you're going to end up with a missing file again, and then you'd have to do a relocate. Um, that would also be true inside of iTunes when you try to play a track in iTunes that you've moved in the back end of iTunes. Um, iTunes isn't going to find it, and you'll have to relocate within iTunes itself. So hopefully that makes some sense. Uh, just something to bear in mind when moving tracks around um, that you know each system is going to lose it temporarily, and you have to go and relocate it. So make sure it's absolutely necessary to move your tracks. Um, or the best practice would be to make sure your tracks are organized perfectly in the file system before you open them up in Traktor. Thanks for watching.